Hello and welcome to another Sandia Mountain Natural History Center quick trip. Today we are on the northern fringes of the Chihuahuan Desert near Socorro, New Mexico. And we are going to be riding through a place called Black Canyon. And there is Black Canyon right there. Never been here before, but we're going to go check it out. I don't know this for a fact, but the assumption would be that Black Canyon is named for the Black Rock. In this case, it's rhyolite, a volcanic rock that is left over from an ancient caldera that dominated the area uh, several million years ago. The Chihuahuan Desert is the largest North American desert. That means it's larger than the Sonoran Desert and the Mojave Desert. One of the other interesting things is people think that deserts are extremely desolate and there's not much life, but the reality is it's one of the most diverse places that you can find. It's an incredible diversity of plants, animals, I hope you're going to be able to see this. This cliff in front of me is about a hundred feet high, but it is absolutely covered in lichens. Super bright green lichens. Now this face is almost always in the shade because of the, its shape and it's north facing, but tons of lichen. Chihuahuan Desert is the most diverse region in the world for cactus with over 320 different species being found there. One of the questions that we get asked a lot is about these sort of skeleton looking things. And what they are is actually what's left of a choya after it dies and all the green stuff decomposes. So this is a choya cactus, and someday it will turn into a skeleton too when it dies and decomposes. So we started on Black Canyon Trail. Now we're on Blue Canyon Trail. Hopefully I don't end the ride black and blue. Mm -hmm. This is creosote, one of the signature plants of the Chihuahuan Desert. And what makes it so hardy is it has a waxy coating on those leaves. So that waxy coating actually holds moisture in. That's what also makes it burn so well is that waxy coating. So it makes a pretty good firewood if you find some big enough. Weird little part to the video here, but I'm curious what everybody thinks. This rock structure is spelled C-A-I-R-N. But I have heard it pronounced Karn, Can, Karen, uh, all different ways that I've heard it pronounced. I'm curious how you think it's pronounced. And in case you don't know, these are used to mark the trail. This area is very popular with rock climbers and I was lucky enough to catch a couple in action. Well, we got a complete video. Coyote's been marking his territory after he ate some juniper berries. 
right here in the middle of the trail.